Number 1. Dusty Supernovae Images From NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's Mid-Infrared Instrument show massive volumes of dust within two Type II supernovae, Supernova 2004 et and Supernova 2017 EAW. Located 22 million light-years away, in spiral galaxy NGC 6946. The vast amounts of dust discovered in the vicinity of these supernovae support the hypothesis that supernovae played an important role in delivering dust to the early universe. The left panel of this image highlights SN 2004 et, while the right panel highlights SN 2017 ADW. Webb's extraordinary sensitivity and capacity to observe in the mid-infrared range enable it to detect the colder dust that survived the internal shocks echoing in the aftermath of the dying star's explosions. The bluer colors in these photos imply hotter dust, whereas red indicates cooler dust. The hexagonal structure of SN2004 at in Webb's image is a result of the telescope's mirror and struts interacting with the intense light of a point source causing diffraction spikes. The latest Webb discovery is the first major breakthrough in the study of supernova dust formation since the discovery of newly generated material in the relatively nearby supernova 1987A. Number 2. NGC 6946 The location of supernova 2004 8 and supernova 2017 EW within the galaxy is contextualized in this image from the Kitt Peak National Observatory of NGC 6946. Scientists utilizing the MIRI on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope discovered enormous levels of dust within two Type II supernovae, Supernova 2004 et and Supernova 2017 EAW, located 22 million light-years away from Earth in spiral galaxy NGC 6946. The high volumes of dust discovered in these supernovae using MIRI support the theory that supernovae were important in delivering dust to the early universe. Number 3. Aspire Cosmic Filament Webb's NIRCAM Deep Galaxy Field depicts an arrangement of ten distant galaxies denoted by eight white circles in a diagonal thread-like line. Two of the circles include several galaxies. A very distant and energetic quasar, a galaxy with an active supermassive black hole at its core, anchors this three million light-year-long filament. JO3YE3150 occurs in the center of the cluster of three circles on the right side of the image. Its brightness exceeds that of its host galaxy. The ten galaxies were discovered only 830 million years after the Great Bang. The researchers anticipate the filament will eventually become a gigantic cluster of galaxies. Number 4. Orion Bar Collage These web photos depict the Orion Bar, a section of the Orion Nebula. It is a place where the trapezium cluster's intense ultraviolet radiation interacts with dense molecular clouds found off the upper left corner. The stellar radiation's energy is progressively degrading the Orion bar, which has a significant impact on the molecules and chemistry in the protoplanetary disks that have formed around young stars here. Webb's NIRCAM instrument produced the largest image on the left. The telescope is focused on a smaller area in the top right, using Webb's MIRI. In these photos, 18 filters from the MIRI and NIRCAM instruments were used, encompassing a wavelength range of 1.4 microns in the near-infrared to 25.5 microns in the mid-infrared. A young star system with a planet-forming disk termed D203506 is located in the very center of the MIRI area. The bottom right pullout shows a combined NIRCAM and MIRI image of this young system. The pressure from the severe UV radiation striking it causes its stretched form. In D203506, an international team of astronomers discovered a new carbon molecule known as methyl cation for the first time. Number 5. Rocky Exoplanet TRAPPIST-1c Based on this work, this artist's concept depicts what the hot, rocky exoplanet TRAPPIST-1c would look like. TRAPPIST-1c the second of the TRAPPIST-1 system's seven known planets orbits its star at a distance of 0.016 AU, completing one round in roughly 2.42 Earth days. TRAPPIST-1c is somewhat larger than Earth, but has around the same density, indicating that it is rocky in composition. 
Webb's analysis of TRAPPIST-1C's 15 micron mid-infrared light shows that the planet has either a bare rocky surface or a very thin carbon dioxide atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1b, the TRAPPIST-1 system's innermost planet, is depicted in the backdrop. TRAPPIST-1b is equally rocky and appears to lack an atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool red dwarf with a temperature of only 2,550 kelvins, around 4,150 degrees Fahrenheit, and a mass of only 0.09 times that of the Sun. Number 6. Quasar J0100 PLUD2802 This field contains over 20,000 galaxies. This picture from the James Webb Space Telescope is located between the Pisces and Andromeda constellations. Webb observations were anchored on Quasar J0100 BUD2802, an active supermassive black hole that functions as a beacon. It appears tiny and pink in the center of the image above, with six obvious diffraction spikes. The Quasar is so bright that it illuminates the gas between it and the telescope like a flashlight. The researchers studied 117 galaxies that existed roughly 900 million years after the Big Bang focusing on 59 that were directly in front of the quasar. The researchers were able to investigate not only the galaxies but also the luminous gas that surrounded them. Researchers have long sought data to explain what happened during this period of rapid change in the universe. The universe's gas was extremely hot and dense after the Big Bang. The gas cooled over hundreds of millions of years. The universe then pressed repeat. The gas became heated, ionized, and transparent once more. The team's findings more precisely characterize the conditions at this particular stop in the universe's history. Not only does Webb clearly show that these transparent regions exist around galaxies, but we've also measured how large they are, said Daichi Kashino, the lead author of the team's first paper from Nagoya University in Japan. Number 7. Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey this infrared image was captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope for the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADIES. It depicts a section of the Goods South region of the sky, which has been extensively examined by the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. There are almost 45,000 galaxies visible here. The JADIES team uncovered hundreds of galaxies that existed when the universe was less than 600 million years old, using these and other data. The sheer quantity of these galaxies exceeded projections based on measurements taken prior to Webb's launch. The team has also discovered galaxies that occurred during the epoch of rayonization, when the universe transitioned from opaque to transparent. Many of these galaxies had unusually high emission line signatures as a result of the formation of a large number of hot, massive stars. 